fascist police commissioner is just through the glass. Take a look. I will in just a second. I strict instructions to kill the old man if any of my guys even think you're in the room. They're patrolling down there. I told them all you're on the way. So here's the deal. If you can find a way to get to Harley without anyone realizing, I'll give you your next present. Fail, and the old carter dies. Hell, I may even give you Harley. <laughs> it looks like you could use a new sidekick. Okay, I will in a second, Joker. I haven't even synced. Come on. Resume. Restart. Game. Audio. Controller. Quit. Up. Up, 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 down, 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 down. That should be good enough. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Some Goddamn Batman with me, OX Phil. And as the Joker just said, we are now in a room with a moose. No, we are in a room with Harley and with Commissioner Gordon. What are you doing, Harley? Okay, you're just tapping the glass. That's okay. As long as you're not getting any other ideas. God, we don't need any of that in this... <laughs> any more of that in this game. Um, but anyway, we can't be seen, so no messing around like we did a few episodes ago. We gotta make sure to take out everyone silently. And... Oh, wrong button. If we check... Our Riddler's challenges. What is it? This one is in the room. Is this the bear? Is this bear the bane of his life? Hmm. Well, seems there's a teddy bear. <laughs> and we unlock the character bio for Bane. Which <laughs> we'll get more into this a little bit later um but anyway the bear we found is his teddy bear that he's had since childhood named osito we'll look at his character bio a little bit later yes we are going to be fighting bane relatively soon don't worry you'll see it pretty soon but for now let's just focus on getting commissioner gordon out of harley's I almost want to say, like, dark clutches, but no, out of Harley's ludicrously over-makeup clutches. <laughs> Anyone gets near him, it won't be me carrying the can. No problem. Nothing's getting past me. Batman will be a dead man, and I'll be famous. Whatever. Get over there and keep looking. Now go! <laughs> I, love, I love that you can listen in on little conversations like that with the henchmen. I mean, I know they're scripted, but still, I, I just love the idea that those henchmen could talk about being the one to kill the Batman as though after all this time of Batman just foiling people trying to kill him, that they think that, is, that they're even going to get close. <laughs> Especially when Joker's pretty much told them that the Batman's on his way. Oh, uh, I don't know. It's just amusing to me that. It's gonna be so cool, old man. Just wait and see. That they they've got such big aspirations that I'm gonna kill the Batman and then I'm gonna be famous for the one who killed the Batman. If it was that easy, didn't you, wouldn't you think that Joker would do it first? All right. So as far as I remember, yeah, three more guys. I'm going to be using Detective View quite a lot because, well, we can x-ray the area. So let's take out this guy since nobody's looking. Hee 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 This old man looks like he's going to pee himself. Someone bring me a bucket. <laughs> I should actually put on my other earbud so I can actually hear if it's all coming through. I, I See, I don't... I don't know. I love that these guys these newer games have so going to be bad fake surround sound so you can actually like pinpoint noises based on where you're looking but at the same time I usually only 
when I'm when I'm using it only works really when you're using headphones and when I'm not using headphones and when I am using headphones I usually only have one headphone on because I like to use earbuds and it just I don't I don't know I just don't really like having all the noise around me canceled out <laughs> like most earbuds do these days all right so we got one more guy this guy's easy Should be able to just go around, go up behind them. Yes, I am chicken. What does that make everybody else? Turkey and ham? Um, <laughs> it's not even a joke. <laughs> um. It's really nice that we can just like stand here and Harley won't be able to see us at all. I don't know. Kind of weird, but kind of nice. So we don't have to we we don't have to worry about being out of her view while we go through all of this. All right, so I believe there's one more Riddler trophy in here that we have to grab. Actually, I want to check the Riddler challenges as well, make sure we're not missing anything. Well, we are, but we can't get to that yet. Uh, I know where that is. Um, <laughs> I think I know where that is. Well, if, if we missed it, we'll just have to track it down later. No big deal. <clears throat> Excuse me. So anyway, I like that we actually drop down in on Harley. <laughs> like, I, I really like that this is just a glass ceiling right here because it makes it, I don't know, it's just a nice touch. Because, as you can see, we can't go through here. Fortunately, she doesn't hear us if we try to go through, but... I don't know. I always found it weird, like, you, you'd think she'd see us or something up here. But we get to see everything going on, and then we finally get to take down Harley. We don't even get a fight with her, which is kind of disappointing, but... I don't think we fight her. At least not in this game. I know there's the Arkham City expansion that's all based around Harley, but Batman, listen. We're not alone. He's got something else down there. I don't know what it is. What a blab about! Oops, I didn't hear. Be quiet. Start my timer. Oh well. Am I getting to you? Am I? Good. You're going to love this next bit. I am going to love this next bit. Once Dr. Young's login. Never mind that. Get behind me. Now. Bane. Oh, Batman, how'd you see him? You know, I'm just the kind of guy that walks into a room and doesn't look in front of me. I love Bane. Who did this? I know I say that I love every enemy, but the venom from my blood must stop. Sorry, has Bane. The good doctor won't be a problem much longer. How do you like my puppet? What say we cut him down? Bane's probably the most interesting of every Batman villain. Like, I don't really like him as a villain. Like, not like I like the Riddler, just because... I like the Riddler because he's sadistic and he's intelligent. And he makes for a great opponent for for Batman. I like Bane because he's the most human of any villain that Batman's ever fought. Like, he's the most complex and flawed. Like, he's also the only villain that's actually broken the bat. Like, his the story where he appears, he breaks Batman's back. Uh, but first, let us go to character bios and read up on him. So in prison, I'm, I'm just going to read them off because I, I, I know that um, even though I'm using new audio and video settings, you guys won't be able to read these. So in prison from birth to serve his dead father's sentence, Bane was raised inside the horrific environs of a Santa Prisca prison. His only friend in the hellhole was a teddy bear he named Osito. Finding solace in smuggled books and meditation, he developed incredible powers of concentration. 
When he was subjected to military experiments using a steroid codenamed Venom, his iron-forged will helped him survive when other test subjects had died, and he managed to escape. Escape, not escaped. Determined to prove his worth, he sought out Batman and broke the bat dark <laughs> the bat knights the dark knight's spine. But Matt Batman recovered and managed to best Bane, uh, cutting off the precious venom supply that transforms Bane into a superhuman. Now the whole thing with Bane, whoa, jeez, the whole thing with Bane and Venom is that it's half addiction, half choice. I don't know. It's just. He's a very flawed character in that he needs the Venom, but he doesn't want it. I mean, there's even storylines where he fights alongside Batman to fight villains who are either using Venom or just to help him fight crime. It's really interesting. Don't we have to, like... Ow! Shoot forget how to fight him now. <laughs> this isn't good. Um, this is not good. I'm forgetting how to fight him. As you can see, this is the same... Um, ah! This is the same type of fight. Aha, there we go. Okay, we just have to hit him enough. And then rip off these cords. It's, but anyway, as you can see, it's the same type of fight as that monstrous guy that we fought a little while before. By the way, if I die, <laughs> I, I'm completely expecting to die. I'm really bad against Bane, because... Well, you have to fight these guys while you're fighting Bane. <laughs> Fortunately, let's see if he does it sometimes makes it easier because he doesn't care about Joker's minions. Oh crap, I'm gonna... I'm so, I, there is no way I'm gonna survive this. <laughs> yep, there we go. Dead. Oh my god, I'm not dead. How? How? Just... I don't understand how I'm not dead right now. Okay, this is actually really fascinating that I'm at the absolute cusp of a game over. <laughs> Let's see if I can actually do this. Probably not, because more minions come down in just a minute. And I'll probably be hit by Bane as well. Oh my god, I can't... I was... Nope, there we go. I was paying too much attention to talking about Bane than I was with the game. Oh, yeah. Oof. I also kind of did want to show that because I forgot that his game over screen is actually really cool because it shows him breaking the bat. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you can see, it's the same type of pattern as... The other guy. So you, yeah, you can only get him like two hits before he smacks at you, un unlike the other guy, but eh, whatever. It works. This is actually the only fight that that works. Like, I think that the, we're gonna see more of those Venom baddies later. The big d mutated guys, and it just becomes a very tiring mini boss fight. Whereas Bane is an actual boss, and it really fits for him. There we go. Perfect. Whoa! Jeez. So one thing that they don't really tell you is you can actually jump on enemies, which I think is really cool. Like, you can jump over them and stuff in order to dodge them just as you can counter them and everything else. And it come you're gonna use it a lot in later fights, and Again, just that they never tell you about this really cool mechanic, because I've never seen anything like this in another game. Oh, shoot. No, oh, we got that guy at least. Oh, well. Alright, Bane. One on oh, crap. There he's still up. 
Anyway, come on, Vayne. One on one. Mano o mano. Plus, as much as people have been complaining about, like, the previews for Bane for... What is it? Batman Rises? I think it's that. <laughs> um, as much as people are complaining about Bane for the previews of Batman Rises, saying his voice is muffled and the mask looks silly, um, I don't know. He, he, he works for me. Like, he's not as buff as I'd like him to be, because the thing with Bane is he's supposed to be super huge, because he's supposed to be on an experimental steroid, but I can look past that. He's just... I'm, I don't know, I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm really looking forward to how... What's his name? Nolan? Was it Christopher Nolan? I think it's Christopher Nolan. I'm not really good with names in theater and stuff like that. It's just, never, it's just never been my forte. Anyway, I'm just really interested to see how Christopher Nolan's going to finish his trilogy with that as well. Um. Oh, crap. I hurt. <laughs> Alright, come on, Bane. Come on. It's not one guy, it's another guy that's just right out of sight. Ah, come on. Oh well, we got him on the ropes. There we go, come on, get him, get him! Alright, so there we go, that's the Bane fight. Fortunately, we got him off the Venom once again. I, again, I, li I like that it's a storyline with him hooked up to the Venom once more, just because later on in his stories, Bane doesn't want to be addicted to the Venom, and people inject him with the Venom. And that's how he ends up becoming a Batman enemy once again. And then there's the later stuff, which is like him as a band of mercenaries and making, Batman, okay? starting diplomatic elections in some country. Gone. Like, it gets, it's, his stories get really around. weird. And really we far out there, but the island. I don't know. Not a rookie. I can handle myself. Again, I'm just putting this out there because I think he's a really interesting character, just because he goes back and forth between being a villain and being a hero. Well, not a hero, but not a villain. <laughs> no, Bane. This time I break you. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's all washed up. <laughs> Jim, get back to the mainland. It's too dangerous here. I don't like leaving you here. Radio claims he's planted bombs all over Gotham. Gotham will panic. You're needed there. We're ready to go now, sir. Bane called Dr. Young Bruja. What does it mean? It's Spanish for which. What was that for 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 what word? Was that was that for which or for bitch? No, my my audio actually had a little pop, so it sounded like <laughs> it was a little truncated to a B. Um once I get to the cave. A bat cave? An Arkham Island? What? This completely blows my mind. We're gonna have a bat cave in a bat game. It's me, remember? So do you think Dr. Young's been experimenting with Venom? The same chemical that turns Bane into that animal? Yes, I'm worried. Bane seemed even more powerful than usual. Joker wants the Venom, and that can only be trouble. I'm heading to Dead Man's Point in Arkham North. I'll contact you once I'm in the Batcave. Alright. Anyway, before we get going... Is it one of these buildings? I guess not. We have to. We do have to um, actually get that last Riddler challenge. We can get it at any time. I'm not really concerned, but let's get some interview tapes. Take patient interview 17. Joker remains uncooperative. My earlier diagnosis remains true. I believe he enjoys his persona too much. What's up, Doc? Today I thought we'd try something different. Oh, you make me blush, Doc. 
I have a girlfriend. Dr. Quinzel, I know. I've seen the tapes. I saw what happened. What can I say? I'm a charmer. Anyway, I thought it would be good to talk about your childhood. Oh, ever heard of romance stuff? I don't give up the goods for free. You'll have to try harder. What are you hiding? Didn't you hear me? You scratch my back, Doc, and, well, I won't have you wrapped in plastic and left in a gutter. Well, well, well. What are you planning with our friend Dr. Young Joker, hmm? Anyway. Oh, one more thing. There is a Riddler trophy up here. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. On Let's Play Some Goddamn Batman. Let me <laughs> Take it easy.